called Blue Tunnel Chewy. I have managed to actually plug my microphone in this time, right? Is it, is it louder here than over here? It looks like it. Okay. Um. So, I have my day planner here. And before I get into the game dev for today, I need to, number one, write a flyer and a like feedback survey um, because I'm going to try to pitch a game development workshop for a local school around here so I basically need to make like a, a kids flyer and a parents flyer and set up some sort of um, like interest form on Google Forms or something see what there is and then maybe I will be paid to teach a workshop starting with just a one-day workshop on game development with like Python and then if that is successful I might be able to teach like an after-school program at this school on game development and then go way more in depth with things like here's a lot of math concepts and computer science concepts um, and really getting to know Python and not just like here's how you load bitmap copy what I do so um, I need to work on that this morning because I'm a little bit late on that because I got really busy over the weekend. Um, so that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that first. I also have my ASL exam today, which is like, I feel like I'm good with the words, but I'm very slow at reading finger spelling. I'm bad at that. And the teacher signs or finger spells very fast. So I'm always dying. I am dead. Um, yep, oh yeah, I have some other freelancy art stuff to fix up, because I didn't do that yesterday, and oh yeah, I need to finish crocheting my gift for my classmate. Oops. So much stuff to do. Okay, let me go grab some. I am working on making a gigantic coral snake. And this is its head, but I'm not done with the head yet. It's been crocheting. I know this is just a, a tube right now, but it will have a head and it will be a really cool coral snake because my favorite animal is snakes. Okay, so I have a lot to do today, but I'll still try to do some game development. Or at least I'll have stuff to do tomorrow. It's just that I have a lot of things that should be done today. But I also have until 6 o'clock. It's currently 9.47 because I wake up really early and I do two hours of work and then I come home and now I'm awake because I had to be awake. <sighs> and I promise I won't go take a nap. It is snake. I'm finished. I'm tired. I want to play video games. But Death Stranding is work. So if I have anything, then I got stuff on my teeth. Mm -hmm. There's a cat in heat over there. It's kind of annoying. Oops. 
Do you have all your homework and stuff in your backpack? Yeah. Okay. A good day. <laughs> Done with the morning part of my job. Now it's time for game dev. did some game dev. Oh, I'm so shaky. Uh, but now I have to go pick up one of the kids from school because it's a half day of school because I don't know Wednesdays are half days for some reason. So yeah I worked for about three hours and I got a lot of game art done and you know the other days usually I work in like stretches of two to three hours at a time and then it's kind of like well i've finished this sub feature i don't want to continue working i need a break and that's just how i am and that's why like your standard eight to five work day is so frustrating because i don't work eight hours straight that's not how i am productive um i can get a lot done in two to three hours and then I like to take a break or maybe take a nap if I want to and then work another like two to three hours. But then with your day jobs, you got to be there longer and it's like not more efficient. It's not more efficient that you have to go to an office either. Um, but none of it's about efficiency and none of it's about individual happiness. It's all just about appearances, facades. Like, what makes you look like you're busy? What makes you look like you're being productive? What makes you look like you're making money for somebody else? Um, and it's one of the reasons I am really bad at being a software developer. I'm good at programming. I'm good at documentation. I'm good at, relatively, I'm okay at talking to people. I mean, like, I'm good at teaching people. I'm good at mentoring. Um... I'm good at, like, I don't know, quality, 
um, testing if I'm given the resources I need to do my job. Um, but I am not good at sitting for eight hours straight. Um, and that's another thing like, yeah, you could take lunch, but then you have to stay the extra hour because you haven't hit your eight hours. So there's no point in taking lunch. So that's just another reason that you just sit there for eight hours and then you want to die. So, but as a, I guess, I guess I have, um, I'm working as a nanny, taking care of these kids in the morning and afternoon, helping with homework. I'm working as a game developer, trying to make money on Patreon and with ads. And then um, I'm trying to get a after school game development program running. And um, that would be a lot of fun. I'd write the curriculum for that. I'd make that stuff all like free and public. And then people who pay to take to have their students do that after school class are basically paying me for my time of like mentoring the students. So I'm trying to get that off the ground. Um, I don't know. I, I've done some random commission artwork. I don't really know if I want to do any like commissioned freelance work because usually it's not a small project. Like, you know, you can be hired to make like one drawing. I wish I could be hired to make like Here's a button on the screen. When you click it, it calculates interest or something. And then just be like, here it is. But um, no, usually software freelance projects are quite big. Or, you know, I don't know. I guess the simplest is setting up like a WordPress for somebody. So I'm clearly not making what I would make on a software engineer salary. Oh yeah, I'm going to be teaching next semester, so I'm going to have a database class, and I'll also put those lectures and stuff online if I end up making video lectures ahead of time. Um, I'm going to look at the other teacher's content that she has available and see what I can use so I don't overwhelm, overwhelm myself, but I also really enjoy making curriculum and lessons and like lectures and all of that, and you know, I might end up doing that stuff, but like when I did discrete math, I really freaking enjoyed writing up um, the assignments to like help students understand like here's the base concept and here's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, now you can do this thing. Um, plus, I was working with LaTeX. I taught myself LaTeX so that I could do discrete math papers. So that helps with having your math symbols. It's so much easier. And... Uh, like, you can do drawings. I did it for circuit diagrams in one chapter of Discrete Math. Um, I did Venn diagram drawings. Um, graph theory is one of the topics I taught in Discrete Math, so that was really useful there. Because, like, you can, like, put it in source control because it's LaTeX. You just, here's my diagram. I'm going to change it a little bit. Oh, it's in source control. You can view the diff. So, yeah. Um You know, like making lecture videos. I feel like knowledge should be free. Um, I love teaching at a college, but at the same time, there's always that monetary hurdle. So not everyone can access it. Um, so while it's a good environment for me as a worker, um, it's not ideal for everybody. So I want to take what I make to teach others and make that publicly available. Um, so people can learn on their own time. They can learn without having to go for a degree and all of that stuff. What time is it? Okay. Well, I'm still just waiting for them to get out of school. I wouldn't mind working for like Duolingo or Khan Academy, but they don't hire a remote. I'm in Kansas city. You're missing out on a really cool person in Kansas City, because you don't hire outside of your little town. There's so many towns outside of your town. You can hire so many great people, but they'd have to be remote. 
And I just have not had any luck finding remote gigs. It's so hard. Like, yeah. Yeah. I want to do my stuff anyway. I want to make educational shit. I want to teach people shit. I want to make games and shit. But I also want to have enough money to live. I mean... That's how it goes. Mm -hmm, puppy. Yep. I'm not going to do any more game dev today. Once I got back from working, I slept. And now it's time to play some D&D. &D. And it's nighttime. So, more game dev tomorrow. Yay! Clearly, my head starts to hurt. Yeah, get the boing boing. Just like.